Typhoon Hinamnor brought up to 505 millimeters of rain per hour, causing flash flooding of streams in Pohang. The extent of the damage was great, and many roads were cut off or blocked, so the exact extent of the damage couldn't be measured. No one could forget it easily. The day when super strong Typhoon Hinamnor hit the southeastern city of Pohang. No one imagined that streams would overflow. This steelworks was flooded in a flash. So were the roads there. <laughs> The situation inside the plants was dire. Most facilities were more than half submerged. But the sad thing was that workers had no choice but to just helplessly watch. <laughs> In the end, everything stopped, or rather, all had to stop. In the morning, a clear sky was breaking following the previous cruel days. The damage from the flooding was beyond imagination. The plants were filled with water and mud, as deep as tens of meters below ground level, and even up to 2.5 meters above ground in some areas. Facilities were carried away by the current, left bent and crushed. An unbelievable, terrible scene. Even the sound of an explosion was heard from a surface treatment plant. The Poang Steelworks was underwater and came to a complete standstill. Could it revive? A series of emergency recovery meetings were held to overcome the unprecedented crisis and countermeasures were immediately established. About 10,000 people per day on average participated in recovery work, even during the traditional Chusak holidays. Recovery work was more challenging because of debris carried by the stream flooding, but the workers could never stop nor give up. At that time, an operating room at number three blast furnace seemed to be in serious trouble. What happened there? If hot metal was not discharged, the furnace had to be abandoned. The number three blast furnace successfully resumed operation just four days after it was blown down, giving hope. In addition, the steel-making plant, the continuous casting plant, and the number two and four blast furnaces were all normalized in just a week. Determination and eagerness to resume operation within the golden time brought the steel works back to life. But when could the semi-finished steel be turned into finished products through rolling? The site looked like a war zone. You could feel the flooding damage quite vividly. <laughs> Where could they start recovery? Was recovery even possible? <laughs> The Pohang Steelworks continued to receive support. A helping hand was offered from Seoul and Kwangyang, 
Recovery work was difficult and tough, but volunteers were able to overcome all of the challenges due to feeling sorry for the lost workplace and determination to recovery. Marines and firefighters lent support as well. POSCO felt so grateful and will never forget their help. Several days later, Hot Strip Plant 2 was still in dire shape. To make matters worse, the floor had to be removed. Transformers had to be removed too. This seemed to be more difficult than building a factory from scratch. Moving bulky transformers was not easy. The work was as demanding and complex as when they were installed, but everyone had to get it done. More than a month had passed since the recovery work began. Replacing refactories on the floor at Hot Strip Plant 2 was planned for today. Workers were working hard, aspiring for the day when the plant would restart. To restart the heating furnace again, there was no time to rest. News was coming from Plate Plant 2. A long-awaited operational test of the heating furnace was scheduled for today. All at the plant were tense. Today was ignition day. Fire trucks were on standby in case of an accident. Workers in the midst of a last-minute inspection looked tense and determined. Only 30 minutes were left until the scheduled operation, but workers continued their maintenance work in a cautious and composed way. Finally, the time came. It had been a long time since everyone laughed together following the flooding. They wanted to enjoy the moment fully and encourage one another at least today. <laughs> A burned electrical room at Hot Strip Plant 2 was under active restoration. Main motor drives were supposed to come to the plant today. JSW urgently supplied facilities meant for its plants to POSCO. Those custom-made facilities typically take over one year to be delivered, but thanks to JSW, POSCO could reduce the recovery time. Against all expectations, POSCO's technological expertise came together to repair main motors. It had strong arms and legs again. The day when POSCO would get back on its feet was on the horizon. What was going on at Wire Rod Plant 3? There was something wrong. Problems occurred after the heating furnace was ignited. Workers were looking for holes, even using special endoscopy cameras. They found holes in just a day due to their hard-won know-how. If repair work could be successfully completed, there was a sign of hope. Next evening, attempts to reignite the heating furnace were made. They were making full preparations, experiencing trial and error, raising expectations. Luckily, reignition succeeded. Product manufacturing was possible again at Wire Rod Plant 3, just two months after the stream flooding. 
저희 공장 항상 이 소리가 났었거든요. 이 소리가 안 나는 게좀 이상한 거고. Hot Strip Plant 2 is moving toward reopening slated for December. It looked totally different from two months earlier. 이걸 진짜 우리가 고쳐서 복구할 수 있을까라는 생각을 많이 했고 걱정도 많이 했는데 80일 염 안에 저 가열로 대화물을 완전히 복구를 하게 되었습니다. And 20 days later, today was the 100th day after the stream flooding. Hot Strip Plant 2 successfully resumed operation. Osco's technological competence, developed over the past 50 years by all masters, engineers, and operation and maintenance employees, contributed to the reignition of Hot Strip Plant 2. <laughs> The surface treatment plant and the stainless steel cold rolling plant restarted as well. So all 17 plants successfully resumed operation in just 135 days. The 135 day hardship turned into a 135 day miracle. POSCO took time to look back on the past 135 days to move forward. <laughs> 냉전적으로 Instantly, the meeting room was filled with tears. 제가 부탁드릴게요. 지난 50년간 겪었던 가장 큰 Some said that it would be impossible. Others said that giving up would be better. But POSCO achieved a miracle in just 135 days, based on its extensive technological expertise and diligent work. Drops of sweat fell on the steelworks molten iron during the short 135-day period. The time staying up late created the miracle of recovery, returning the entire production system to normal. What they did through the crisis has made them stronger and POSCO stronger. What they did through the crisis brought POSCO to life for the next 100 years. <laughs>